Hello everyone, welcome to my NASDAQ YouTube channel. In today's topic, I'm going to talking about installing CAS, configuring CAS, that is configuration audit system. This is my Canadian lab. I have a standard on Canadian and I have my Mexico, Mexico installed on Windows 2016 server. Let's start with downloading. You go to IBM Fix Center choose IBM Security Guardian as your product and then version 11.0 you can choose other other version as well you can choose all but for this specific case we're gonna use in Windows 11.0 and uh, browse for all fixes then you should get a list for all STAP, Jim and CAS those database agent you can quickly by searching CAS and you can get a 11.2 you can download in using HTTPS continue it's 348 megabyte let's start into deploying a CAS to our SQL servers go to manage module installation upload the modules find out the file, the extension name is GIM we're gonna use Jim to deploy to it import now file was successfully imported this is our Win 2016 MS SQL Server Jim client has been installed on it we can check um, Gym Process Monitor. We also can check S Tab Control. We're gonna deploy the CAS module to it. Next, you won't be able to see it until you uncheck the Show Only Bundles. It shows in a drop down list already, 11.2. So we're going to install bundle CAS. Next. So there's two values. We're going to, you're going to need to be set it up. One is the installation directory, one is JVM path. So here is a default folder. You can put them in. You have to provide those parameters before you can proceed. Next. Install. Okay. Let's show status. Pending install. We're gonna pause video and once it's done, I will come back. Okay, it's uh, installed, it's in process right now. Let's refresh it. Still in process. Unfortunately, I got this. So that means installation failed. Uh, let's go to the MS SQL Server and take a look <laughs> Guardian, Jim, CAS so the file, the installation file has been
copied over actually I can try this I want to give it a try to see if I can get cache working um, so it's asking JRE version 1.4.2 or higher JVM DIL JRE is located we have let's see what we have here we have Java 8 installed which does has jvm.dil file we can try to find out that java folder and put it in So they are asking the path. Okay, so it must be the client. Okay, open. Next. This JVM is not 64 bit, that's why. So we need to download the new JVM file. Let me work on that. I got the Java installed. Um, now we can find out our new Java on the program files. Java. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Hopefully we can find JVM. Not here. Okay. Next. So it looks like now the issue fixed. We gonna I can go back. Let's can can cancel here. I can close this too. Um, where is the folder name? Program files. Java. Revision bin and then the server. That's the folder name. Um, we can go back here. So since we failed, okay, we're gonna update uh, the parameters. Configure client, choose parameters. This is CAS JVM pass. So we're gonna change it to server. Next. Okay, that's the changes. And the CAS install folder, I have been changed to program files, IPN CAS. Let's see if it's working. We cannot do that installation again. Okay. Show status. Pending installation. Uh, this time I'm gonna just keep recording. Still pending install. You can go back to the gym folder and see the status. Current. Configuration. There's no this folder anymore. Flash. Okay, so the files has been changed over through the gym and uh, they're gonna launch the installation process. So now it should be in process, right? Um, we're gonna wait. Hopefully, this time can get it uh, through the installation process. Seems in good sign. I want to show you this documentation here. So, CAS, installing the CAS with Jim. Uh, in the documentation, it's very confusing here. They just let you, there's uh, two parameters as we saw that cast gym pass and the cast installing directory so this is the cast pass uh, that's fine I change it to program files doesn't matter but for the cast gym cast JVM pass there's no word for that so which is very confusing here so now I see 
perfect the issue it's out so I'm not sure how many people are gonna matter this issue but uh, I resolved it um, that's because the regime JVM pass Java pass has to be set correctly um, now you can see the status activity monitoring status it's here it's active online now our cast is being installed um, we're gonna make some quick testing go to harden um, there's a template set already been created when you install the cast, it's already in here. Um, I'm gonna show you one with this. Uh, our case is MS SQL with Windows template. This um, predefined rule has already been set up. We are not gonna use it. We're gonna create, create our own. So press plus sign, select the Windows database type. Actually, it's, we're gonna use in a file to test it. So we're going to monitor the file changes. So let's put the name so we're going to test txt file so we're going to add a, add a new rule so basically this is test, test txt changes so type is file you can configure more like fire pattern register key um, so test.txt so we already have that file created previously so I put the one on one to the two later on I'm gonna add it more there so make changes on that so for other things we can keep chain keep, so keep not touch the last so period of one hour uh, you can put one minute Let's put one hour. Uh, you can keep date, data and the changes. They will save the data there. And using MD5 to verify the system, verify that we don't need that. So actually, um, so that's all. That's all. So we need to configure a uh, template. Now we can uh, apply this template to uh, our host configuration. So we already have a host here and uh, we need to add it by default there's a one so uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna add it our 51 sec test test.txt uh, data source um, here data source is not uh, important since uh, we don't need to connect in database we are not monitoring the database we are not the files so it doesn't matter so leave it there so that's a warning we want to save it anyway yes and then go back That's pretty much everything we did, right? So you see zero enabled items monitored, nothing. Because we didn't run it, start run instance. You see, the number has been changed to one. That means we are monitoring that now. Make changes to see what's happening. So we got that three, 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 four, four, four. You can still save it not problem um, okay cool it's monitoring um, we run an instance now we know you get the report and you will see what cast changes okay so look here that's our cast changes the save data one 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 two 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 three 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 four four four. Immediately, the change has been captured. Then you can generate report for those changes. You can alarm the user, alarm the admin. You can send out um, PDF file for those changes. But uh, that's basically how CAS working.
Thank you for watching.